Hey what's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews and today I have got my hands on another brand new Android TV box so stay tuned for the review. So this is the Xiaomi Mi Box Android TV box. So as usual we are going to be doing a quick unboxing followed by a few tests, video tests, full HD and 4K videos, a few Android games, testing Kodi performance and finishing off with a benchmark and Wi-Fi test. So this is the Xiaomi Mi Box Android TV box. So what's special about this box is you have the full version of Android TV OS on here. So that's the same OS you get on the Nvidia Shield. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this performs. So you also got Google Cast built into it. You got voice search remote included. You got $76 worth of offers um, included, such as $50 credit for Sling TV, $5 for Wudu. You got one month free trial, which is worth $6. And you got a three month trial uh, to Pandora, which is worth $15. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So the CPU is a S905X quad core running at 2 GHz. The GPU is a Mali 450 running at 750 MHz. You've got 2 GB of DDR3, 8 GB of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi supporting 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, BGN and AC, Bluetooth version 4. This is running the official Android TV OS, built in Google Cast supports ultra hd 4k videos at 60 frames per second and it supports hdr 10 dolby audio and dolby dts so let's get the box open and see what it looks like that's everything you get in the box i really liked how this was packaged it was packaged very neat um, i love the orange and the black and it looks really cool you got your usual instruction manuals, you got some special offer leaflets here and your paperwork. You got a HDMI cable which is also branded with the Mi logo. Pretty cool. You got a charger. The remote control. Quite a basic looking remote control, but this remote also has a built-in mic so you can do voice searches. So you'll be able to press the mic button and you'll be able to talk straight into the remote and we'll be testing that function out later. Hey, this also came with batteries. I've actually reviewed so many Android TV boxes and none of them came with batteries for the remote. So Mi Box, nice. And last but not least, the actual Mi Box. So the Mi Box, a completely plain simple design with just a Mi logo at the front. Um, you got the sensor. And if I keep going around, the ports on the back, very simple design. You've got the power socket there, a full size USB port, HDMI port and an audio out. And All you got is one USB and there's no micro SD card slot whatsoever. I like to mention that you've only got 8 GB of internal storage on this unit. But the thing is you're running Android TV version 6. So what you can do is you can put a USB drive in and you can convert that USB drive to use as internal storage. So this Mi Box is actually really small and to compare the size I'm going to bring in the TX5 Pro. The TX5 Pro is one of the smallest boxes you can get. Um, I like to compare it to the Mi Box if I put the Mi Box in on top. The form factor is slightly different as you can see but nevertheless the Mi Box is quite a bit smaller than the TX5 Pro. If we do a side by side comparison you can see it's a few millimeters slimmer too. So the Mi Box is certainly one of the smallest TV boxes you can get. So I was quite excited to try this box out. Um, I've been wanting to get this for a while, but I finally got my hands on it. So this is the Xiaomi Mi Box running full Android TV OS, exactly like Nvidia Shield. Obviously the power of this is not on par with Nvidia Shield, but still we're going to test this out. I'm going to hook this up now and we're going to run all the tests and let's see how good the Mi Box is. So when you first turn the box on, you have to pair your remote control and you can do that by holding the left and the zero key. Um, and as soon as you do that, you'll hear a beep, and that means you're connected. So this is the home screen for the Mi Box. Um, this is Android TV OS version 6.0.1. So at the top, you have your re recommendations. Um, you've got uh, your game section there, and, and then you've got your app section. And this is where all your apps will be stored. Um, any apps you install from the Google Play Store will appear here. Um, any games you install will appear in the game section, and so on and so forth. Um, let's go to settings. 
So this is system settings. You have all your various system settings here. This is Google Cast and the options you have herein. Um, if we move across and down, you will see now I'm going to go to home screen. And over here, you have the options of changing what you see in the recommendation section at the top. So you can turn on and off um, from these apps what you want to see on the top recommendation row. You can also customize the apps and games in what order that you can view them. So I'm going to arrange the games in uh, recent order. So the most recent play games will appear at the front of the list. Another very cool function is power key definition. You can choose what the power key does on your remote control. I'm going to set it to shut down. I'm going to quickly show you the system storage available. It's an 8 GB unit. There is currently 5.1 GBs available to use. I've already installed four games and I've got 5.1 GBs left. So um, it's quite good. You, so you've got a reasonably good system storage there. And this internal storage can be upgraded. All you need to do is plug in a USB drive and you will have the option to format this USB drive into internal storage. So after connecting to Wi-Fi, I did check and there was a system update available. So this does OTA updates regularly. So you know you're always going to have an up-to-date system and a stable working system. Organizing and moving apps around is really easy. You just keep the OK button pressed um, and you can move any app, app around that you wish. And if you want to uninstall an app, it's even easier. Press the OK button pressed, push down and then click on the uninstall and you'll be able to uninstall the app in seconds. So let's have a quick look at the Google Play Store. So the Google Play Store has loads of apps for you to download from movies, TV, games, um, and a lot more entertainment apps, etc. Um, you've got all the popular apps here. All the apps you see in this store is actually designed to work with your box. So um, all the apps are compatible with the, with the box. They're all Android TV compatible apps. Another great feature is searching by voice. So if I just say Chig's 5 apps, it will search for Chig's 5 apps in YouTube um, and it will find my popular video on the top 5 must-have apps for Android TV boxes. Hey, what's up YouTube? Chicks and you can play it Chicks straight away. Movies. Likewise, you can actually search for anything you like. You can search for any subject and it will find it. You just press the mic button on the remote and just say Jurassic World. And the Jurassic World movie information has come up um, and it gives you all the details on the film, the cast um, and the rating. And it also gives you the option to buy or rent the movie and then you can watch it online. I really like how accurate the search feature is so let's try one more. How to cook roast chicken. And there you have the instant YouTube results on recipes to follow on how to cook roast chicken. I can really get used to the search feature. So let's try streaming some full HD video on YouTube. Hey, what's up guys? Chicks here from Chicks Tech. Hey, what's up guys? Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. And today I want to show you guys how you can install Amazon Prime Video. So now I'm going to test Kodi performance with some 4K video files. Let's test out a game. The first game I like to try is Dead Trigger 2. I know a shortcut. Okay.
So now I'm going to be playing a 4K video sample from a USB drive. So there you have it guys, the Mi Box has achieved 28 megabits download speed and 9 megabits upload speed. I am on a 40 meg broadband connection. So the results of the Antutu benchmark tests were quite good. You got a 37,617 overall benchmark score. So let's see how that compares with the others. So this is my top benchmark performance chart where you can compare all the Android TV boxes that I have reviewed to date. Higher the score, better the overall performance. So as you can see, the Xiaomi Mi Box has jumped straight to number one in the quad-core TV box chart um, with an amazing score of 37,317. So currently, the Xiaomi Mi Box is the best performing quad-core TV box that I have reviewed so far. So it will be very interesting to see which Android TV box I review next and what overall score it will get. So stay tuned for that. So there you have it guys, that was the Xiaomi Mi Box. Considering this has only 2GB of RAM and a quad-core CPU, the performance of this box was actually very good. The Mi Box achieved the highest score when compared to other quad-core TV boxes. Of course the 8-core boxes out there have scored higher and some are actually priced lower than this box. So why would you buy this Xiaomi Mi Box for a higher price and less specs? Because this box has Google Cast built in, supports voice search, you also get $76 worth of extras, which some of you may find very useful. You also have a very solid performance with no crashes, and you have the most amazing Android TV OS. That's the same OS you get with the Nvidia Shield. So this is a licensed Android TV OS product. So you get all the regular updates and fixes, so you know you've got a stable product. The Mi Box also supports DTS and Dolby Digital Audio. The only issue I see with this TV box is storage is 8 GB. Uh, yes, you can expand it with an external HDD, but this would have been much better with at least 16 GBs. Otherwise, this is a very high quality product by a very well-known company, Xiaomi, who are currently producing the most amazing smartphones, which I hope to review for you guys very soon. So what I'll do is I'll put the links in the description in case you guys want to check this product out. I hope you guys found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a brilliant day.